Look at that mascara I got on my face, guys. Look at it. Hey guys, it's me, Holly Madison, back with another Q&A. I really enjoyed doing the last one, so I'm here with another one with questions from you guys. If you would please hit the like and subscribe button, I'd appreciate it so much, and let's get started with the questions. I reached for a lip pencil, and the first one I found is Chicory from MAC. I don't know if they still make this, but back in the day, this was my go-to red, because sometimes, you know, red lipstick wasn't what I wanted to do like a bright red so this is like what I called my neutral red my first question I'm actually gonna save and do a whole video just on that somebody asked me what was the weirdest reaction to your book down the rabbit hole and I got a lot of weird reactions some of them were justified like if I said things about people that they didn't necessarily like like I understand if they're mad but then I got some weird reactions too of people just straight up misreading things or they would read a clickbait headline that actually wasn't something I said or they would come out of the woodwork and I'd be like wait who are you so that'll be a whole video in and of itself because the stories are just kind of funny and it's more than one thing my next question is what is your scariest experience and i'm not really scared of ghosts and stuff i think that's fun but what i am scared of is like home invasions and intruders and i live in a house that has some activity and one night i was asleep and my alarm was set and everything but the door to my bedroom just burst open and it burst open loudly, which is weird to the point where I woke up and I did that cliche movie thing where people wake up from a bad dream where they're like, <gasps> and yeah, it was frightening because I thought somebody had broken into the house, even though my alarm hadn't gone off and I was ready to like fight for my life. Cause that's what you would do if somebody broke up into your house. So that terrified me. <laughs> my next question is favorite thing to do in your free time. My favorite thing when I have total free time with nothing else to do is read and I haven't had a lot of time to read lately but I just find that so relaxing I've always loved reading since I was a kid it's been my favorite activity here's a question someone asked you seem like you would be boring in the bedroom please tell me I'm wrong well I'm not really interested in telling you you're wrong because I don't really care what people think I'm like in the bedroom that's for my man to know and nobody else, so I don't care. Somebody asked, have you been to 21 Royal? And for those who don't know, 21 Royal is a really special dining experience they have in Disneyland. It's in the Dream Suite above Pirates of the Caribbean. It's really exclusive and hard to get into. It's a multi-course gourmet meal with an amazing wine selection in a really cool fancy dining room. And yes, I have been there. You have to book it ahead and you can invite like 12 people, I think. And my friend Ashley booked it and it was kind of like a joint birthday thing. And she couldn't make it at the last minute, but she was like, please go. Like, I can't get a refund. I don't want this to go to waste. So thank you, Ashley. I had the time of my life. It was one of my most memorable experiences. You go up to the dream suite. They serve drinks. You can go out on the balcony and look out at the park. It's really amazing. I had some great friends there. And even at the time, I was like, I'm in one of my favorite memories right now. It was just so cool. Somebody asked if I'm going apple picking soon. I don't have plans to, but that just sounds like a divine fall activity. I don't know if they have it in my area, but I'm gonna look, cause that sounds like so much fun. Do you ever feel like you need one piece of makeup to live? Like in my case, liquid eyeliner, and then you can't find your favorite anywhere in the house and you're like, no. Mrs. Peters asks, does your daughter love the name Rainbow? She does. And, you know, a lot of people made fun of me when I first named her that back in 2013 because back then unusual names weren't as trendy as they are now. But she goes to school in Southern California and it's just really common out here to have really unusual names. Like, it's almost more uncommon to have a normal name. It was funny because one of the moms in her kindergarten class was telling me a story about how her son's name is George and the first day he went to his preschool they were sitting around in a circle the kids and they were introducing themselves and everybody had like a really unusual name so when they got to George George said my name is record because he thought everybody was just making up names so that's how common it is so it's nothing like unusual that she would get made fun of or anything like that and she really loves it and I think it really suits her personality, so that makes me happy. 
Dark Sense in Things asks, would you ever be in horror movies? Yeah, why not? I actually was in one. It was called The Telling. We made it back in the day on Girls Next Door. It was supposed to be like a B horror movie and it was a lot of fun and I played a sorority girl. Bex wanted to ask, what famous people have seen Peep Show? And we had a lot of famous guests in our time, but the one that really stands out to me, I think especially now because I'm on TikTok and I find myself on Draco Malfoy TikTok a lot. And Tom Felton came to the show once and I remember my friend was sitting in the audience and we're both really big Harry Potter fans. And right when the show went silent, like when there was a moment like in between scenes where nobody was saying anything, she screamed really loud, put some Slytherin in me Malfoy. <laughs> and I still laugh about it. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. My next question is how often do you get your hair done? Not as often lately. I like having a root and also with everything that's going on in the world right now and not leaving our houses as much, I don't get my hair done as often. But I would say like once a month, sometimes more. I mean, I used to do it more, but now it's probably an average of like once a month. I would say before it would be like every three weeks and now I don't even know if I do it as much as once a month, maybe like once every other month. Things are getting foggy these days, just like not knowing what day it is and all that stuff. Still can't wait to get back to semi-normal. My eyes are so red, you guys. My eyes are kind of always red, but lately we've been having these crazy fires in Southern California, so my eyes have just been more irritated. Janelle asks if there's any Disney YouTubers I love. Yes, there's a lot of them, but my favorite favorites, and I link them a lot in my Disney videos because sometimes they'll be my sources for certain information or they will have a video that elaborates more on something else I'm talking about. But I love Defunct Land and yes, I think it's called Yesterland or Yesterworld. I get it confused because I think there's also a blog by a similar name, but yeah, I really like those too. Garden of Groove asks, what Harry Potter characters are you most like? I feel like I'm a combination between like Hermione and Fleur. I'm a Ravenclaw, so people always think I'm going to say Luna, but I feel like I'm a little bit Hermione and a little bit Fleur. I feel like Fleur doesn't have the best social skills and she's kind of misunderstood and people think she's a brat. So I relate. And I got another question that asked, how has blank affected your relationship? And I don't want to say the word because I don't know if it's still getting shadow banned or getting your account demonetized, but you know everything that's going on in the world right now that's kind of keeping us in our houses? Yeah, that. So people asked, how has that affected your relationship? And within the first like six weeks or so, it was really stressful to me because we were in different cities and I just wasn't sure when we were going to see each other again on top of homeschooling my daughter and making sure I had enough food in the house because this was before grocery delivery kind of picked back up again and just everything was stressful. But it's always amazing to have somebody to talk to and we started getting together again after that and I think when you go through times like these in relationships it just shows you a lot about that person's character and in this case in a good way. I'm going to try a liquid lip Eh, lip liner. I'm going to try a liquid eyeliner that I don't usually use, so wish me luck. I usually use, as I say in all the videos, um, Tarte Double Take Eyeliner, and that's half the battle for doing a good wing eyeliner, in my opinion. It's just the product. Alicia asks, when are we getting the Clown Motel vlog? Um, I'm either going to put it up right before this video, so it's already up on my page, or it will be the next one. And I gotta admit, it's a little sloppy. It's my first travel vlog, so it's not like the greatest footage by any means. I remind myself of like a dad on vacation in the video, but it was still fun. And I can tell you guys the story of the Clown Motel. So if you ever wanna go on a little road trip out to Tonopah, that can be your guide. Tips for Disney World with toddlers. Research, research, research. Disney World, if you've never been before, is such a big resort. There's four different parks. There's so much to do. I mean, you'd have to be there for weeks to do it all. So do all the research you can. Figure out what rides, what restaurants you want to hit. 
And I would say for toddlers, obviously Magic Kingdom and then Animal Kingdom are the best out of the four, I think, for toddlers. So if you're going to limit your time or maybe only pick two parks, I would pick those. I think right now, at the time I'm filming this video with everything that's going on in the world, they only let you go to one park per day. They don't let you park hop. Favorite LA donut shops? I have a couple. I think my absolute favorite, I don't go there much because it's far from where I am. It's in Highland Park. It's called Donut Friend. It's vegan and they have the most amazing donuts and I'm not vegan so it doesn't have to be vegan for me to eat it it's just kind of like a healthy bonus if it is but these donuts are as good as any regular donuts so hyping up donut friend also California donuts is really good and beware because there's a couple knockoff California donuts in LA they have the same name and the same sign but it's not the same donuts the one I'm thinking of is in like the Koreatown area I can't remember what street it's on, but that's where it is. And they have the really cute donuts. Check out on Instagram, California Donuts. They're super cute and the address will be right there. And another one I can think of off the top of my head is on Beverly. It's called SK Donuts and they're buttermilk. I know buttermilk is kind of a basic donut, but it is so good. This is a random one. Somebody asked, did you enjoy filming Viva La Bam? That was a show I filmed like back in like 2003, 2004 when I was living at the mansion. And it was a show on MTV, if you don't know, about Bam Margera, a skateboarder. And I was supposed to come out in a bunny costume and just kind of welcome the guys to the backyard. And I had a few lines. And for me, that was just like a really cool experience because this was before we had a TV show and I didn't really get to do things like that much. And so it was kind of like a highlight for me at the time. My next question is if you could only do one beauty treatment, what would you do? That's easy for me. It's definitely like getting my hair colored. It's the one beauty treatment, not the one beauty treatment, but the one kind of one I feel like is necessary that I can't do myself. I can't do my lashes myself either, but I just wear strip lashes if I don't have lash extensions. So that's not that big of a deal. But I tried to go back to a darker color. It was like a really dark red color, maybe like five or six years ago. And even though that's closer to my natural color, I didn't feel like myself, ironically. Just wasn't as happy as I am being blonde. And my next question is, would you want to live in a haunted castle? And I actually kind of do. My house has some kind of activity in it. If you believe in ghosts, it's haunted. If you don't, something weird's going on I can't explain. And I don't know if you can tell, but this room I'm in is round right now and it's like a turret on the side of my house. It kind of has a castly look. So I kind of do live in a haunted castle. So once again, I had so much fun answering your questions, guys. If you want me to do another Q&A, let me know in the comment section and ask your question. Bye.